Hi, welcome to a to z knowledge.com. So today we are going to discuss about what is Java server page is nothing but JSP. So you can find more videos on a to z knowledge.com in two languages, English and Tamil. Not only Java, you can find other languages and database concepts also. So JSP, a Java server page, which is a server side programming language. It's a server side programming language especially used for uh, web application so we use this server-side programming language for web application to create a websites with java based simply if i want to say what is jsp it's all about java plus html the combination of these two a programming language java and a markup language html a combination of these two we call it as jsp a java server page okay and like java server page is an advance of servlet so max maximum if you compare both the concepts will be same but the thing is the very important thing like if it is a servlet or a jsp we need a server to execute this server side program so if you take a servlet if you do each and if whatever the changes the small changes whatever you are doing in server side so you have to redeploy it again but means again you have to redeploy means again you have to deploy it in a server but if you take jsp advance of servlet for whatever the changes you can do in your server side or client side but you don't want to do any kind of a redeployment once you have deployed that is enough automatically whatever the changes you are doing in client and server side will be get committed okay that is one big advantage with this java server page a programming language so as i said it's a combination of <coughs> java plus html so it's all about a basic with a practical uh, thing like how to install this and work with it. So now what I'm going to do is we have three types of tags for JSP. For, so for HTML, we have tags like uh, paragraph tag, bold tag, italic tag, marquee tag, like that. We have some tags in JSP, basic three tags. Okay, so the first tag is scriptlet tag. The second tag is expression tag and the third one is declarative tag. So expression tag is all about it starts with open braces percentage symbol equal to and ends with percentage and close tag. And if you take scriptlet tag it start with uh, a tag open tag percentage symbol and for close percentage and close tag if you take declarative it starts with percentage exclamatory and closing again percentage close tag so scriptlet tag is all about you can specify variables java variables and expression tag is all about you can print something like system dot out dot printl and sop so in java then declarative is all about you can give where you can use variables you can declare variables and also you can declare methods okay so if you use java variables in jsp you have to use scriptlet tag expression means like if you want to print something you can use expression tag and declarative is all about you can declare variables as well as methods so for what is the prerequisite to get into jsp you need to know some basic concepts about java and you need to know some basic concept about in html and web applications and now what are all the steps and what are all the things we are going to uh, like what are what is the IDE I am going to use for this JSP we are going to use a normal Eclipse IDE so now we will be seeing what are all the steps that we have to do to get this uh, JSP in our Eclipse the first step you have to install some softwares in your Eclipse so just get into help install new software and here So you have to choose this site and you will be getting an option as bending and within some seconds you will be getting some list of packages in that you have to install one package which has giving the functionality of XML, HTML, JSP, all web application functionalities. Okay, so you can see here 
this site uh, this whatever the site is there it is uh, it by default it will be there in your eclipse okay you just select in from your drop down list i am using indico if it is kepler releases class as kepler will be kepler will be there so in that you come for the last package web xml java w java w is nothing but java enterprise edition especially for web application you have to tick this package and you have to give next okay so within some seconds it will get into the next page it ask you to give uh, uh, agree the license you just give tick and accept and finish so within five to six minutes this package will be get installed in your machine okay so i'm just giving next it takes some time but i have already installed this packages in my machine so in the next step it will ask you to tick the license agreement and just give finish within five to six minutes you will be getting this and uh, the eclipse will ask you to restart so just give restart so the eclipse will be get restarted now how can i check whether this jsp got means the web application has got installed in my eclipse or not so that we will be seeing so it just takes some time so whatever the steps i i have said you can follow the same thing if you give next you have to tick the license agreement and just give finish within five minutes you will be getting web application in your eclipse so which i have already installed so for checking whether my eclipse is having it will ask a restart if it is asking restart then sure the web applications has got installed but uh, anyway you can check it by just go for file new other file new other and here you have to type dynamic means dy just type dy you need to get this dynamic web project so i'm going to create a web project like you are created a normal java project like that you can create a dynamic web project just give next so it just gi give some project name so i'm just giving a, a demo jsp a to z knowledge so just give finish so if you see uh, it will ask you to uh, whether i want to open this with a java w perspective means your eclipse perspective will be get changed okay this is J jw means your java w perspective in top you can see if you want java perspective back you can click this one okay now i am just expanding if you see here on this folder you have j means it's a java project but here you have j with the globe symbol means it's a dynamic web project and if you see it is a normal class means you will be having src jre but it is a dynamic web project you will be having some web content java sources etc now if you there in normal java project if you want to create a class you have to right click your src new class but here we are going to create a jsp and html pages so if, if you want to create a html and jsp page right click this web content go for new html or jsp so we are going to see jsp so i'm just giving jsp file so i want to i want to i want to give a name for my jsp file so i'm just giving it as index.jsp so I'm just giving finish. So I got some uh, predefined tags with a JSP page on top. You can find whether it's a JSP or HTML page. How can I find this? You can see here page language is Java means it's a JSP. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain. I'm going to go show you the demo for the three tags, whatever I have told you. So the first one is scriptlet tag. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable. Okay, I have declared a variable. Next, I am going to do an I'm going to give you a demo for expression tag percentage equal to now the I'm just printing the result of data is equal to data. So you can just print like this uh, once again. So here the result of data, whatever if you want to print, you just give it in double quotes and plus data. So I'm going to print this 50. Next, the next tag is declarative. So as I said, declarative is for especially for uh, uh, printing your methods, right? So. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method int cube inside this 
I am just giving as uh, int n. So I have created a method. Now in the next step what I am going to do is then after this you have to create a method. I have created a method in q int cube int n open close bracket so I am just going to return return n into n into n so that is called cube right so now I have written a logic now next I am going to print one more expression tag to print this n into n into n so within this double quotes the output of cube I am just giving like this now plus cube the method name and I am pausing value as 3 ok Control A, Control Shift F for formatting. So I have just formatted, means you will get a definite format. Now I want to execute this. If you want to execute any server side programming language, you need a server. Okay. Server is nothing but a client sends a request to the server, server will respond back. Right. It's all about web publication. You need a server if you want to see the output of the server side programming language. Okay. Now, how, how, what, what server I, I have to use? What server I want to use? Now, I am going to use Apache Tomcat, so which is available in Apache site, you can download it, it's a freeware. I have already downloaded, now I am going to show, you can download just 11 to 12 MB will be there, you can download for Windows or Linux, whatever. So I have already downloaded a Apache 7 version. Now how to communicate, how to create a communication between your Tomcat server and your Eclipse. So you have to go for Windows. Now the steps whatever I am teaching is to install your uh, uh, Tomcat server inside Eclipse. Means it's not an install, it's a configure. Go for window preference and choose this server. Expand the server and choose this runtime. Here it is asking like add. So just give add. And I am going to expand this Apache because I am going to use Apache. And the version is 7. Subversion can be anything. So just give next. And it is asking you to give the directory name of Apache. So I am just giving the directory name. It is there in my D colon. So I have just downloaded two versions. So I, I can, I can, you can use any version. So I am just using 7.0.34. Just click the directory name and OK. Finish. Right. It has got added. That's it. Now, here you are seeing marker, properties, console. Like that I want to see the server view. So go for window and just give the option as show view and run you can get this server or else you just type you just click this other and just type server you will be getting this fine now it is asking to new wizard already we have added but here also in cons means in the server tab we have to add this now the same step click the link next finish means your server will be get created here now it is asking to stop or now it is uh, it is in a stop mode now if you if i want to start i can right click and i give start so instead <coughs> i am going to execute this so i have created this under web content the jsp page right click this <coughs> jsp page and just give run as run on server it is not java application so java application means right click run as java application it's a server run on server so just give next so it is added and just give finish so you will be getting a browser in your Eclipse. Okay, a browser is got created in your Eclipse. See, the output is got printed. So uh, uh, Tomcat port number is 88 keys always. If you want to configure, you can just double click because you will be getting sometimes it says 88 is already running. Maximum, if the people use Tomcat, they will be getting this problem always. So in that time, just double click this and you will be getting a view server view here you can change this to 8082 to some other port number 50,000 or 70,000 80,000 more than that okay now we can go back for our result variable value of variable is 50 means I have printed this one then the output of cube is 27 means the next statement 3 I have passed 3 so n into n into n 3 into 3 into 3 so I am getting this 27. So here we have seen what is JSP and a practical example with the three tags. Only we have three tags in JSP. We have seen that and we have seen how to install Tomcat in Eclipse. So just start this practice and in the next class we will be seeing how to communicate uh, this JSP with MySQL. Web application is all about three part UI, business logic and 
connectivity database so we have seen what is ui and we have written some business logic and we have seen what is this and in the next class we will be seeing how to communicate this create a communication between jsp means web application with the database with mysql so we can create a login and registration you can will be seeing in the next chapter so like our page in facebook and join in our group we have a group in facebook subscribe our channel in youtube you can get videos in two languages tamil and english so thanks for watching a to z knowledge.com